Hi, everybody. Lori here. Thank you so much for joining me today. I'm excited to be a part of this very special blog hop between Hero Arts and Gina K Designs. Hero Arts is celebrating their 45th anniversary and they're partnering with several companies in our amazing industry. Today it's Gina K Designs and we have this gorgeous Friendship Blooms stamp set that I'm going to be using on my project. So I'm going to start with this large floral image. I have a panel of Nina Solar White cardstock. I'm inking up the image with black ink and I'm using Versifying Onyx Black Ink. I'm just stamping it black onto the white. There's a lot of things you could do with this image. You could color it, Copic color it, Zig Clean color it, emboss resist it, but I want to try to shake it up. So I trim some pieces of solid color cardstock. I've got the yellows, the orange, the pinks, and the purples. I didn't eyeball it. I completely winged it like I do in life. I started skinny and each strip got thicker and thicker till I got to the purple. You see how that goes? And um, yeah, I just completely winged that one, right? I just wanted something to spice up my life. I take it off camera, trim off the edges, make it the same width as my panel here, like so. I'm gonna line this up where I want it to go, hold it down with the magnets, and I'm gonna ink up that floral image again. See, I never took that off my Misty, so everything's in the same place. But this time, instead of stamping it in black ink, I'm using Versamark ink. So it's gonna give it a different look, almost like an illusion. It's like magical. I really love how it turns out. It's, it's there, but it's like not. I don't even know what to say. Now for the sentiment, it says, hello, sweet friend. I wanted to use that, but I didn't want the hello. So I'm gonna mask it off, put some post-it tape over the hello, and I'm gonna emboss only the sweet friend part. So this is kind of fun. I don't know if you ever tried masking off your sentiments. It gives you a little more mileage. You can isolate certain words. And so I'm gonna pour white embossing powder on this strip here of black cardstock. Heat that with a heat gun. Today, spent the entire day with my oldest daughter, Alex, and we went uh, shopping. It was all about shopping for the college dorm. She goes to college in about a week. And we went to Ikea, we went to Target, Bed Bath & Beyond. You don't even wanna know what we spent. But I'll tell you what, my daughter, she has a, she has a problem. And she takes right after me. The problem is throw pillows and throw blankets. The softer, the fuzzier, the better. And let me just say, it might be a problem, okay? So I hoard stamps and I think she might hoard throw pillows. What are you gonna do? You know what I mean? So I mean, I mean I'm putting this card together. Everything got popped up, popping up the sentiment. And then just to finish this off, I put a few sequins. These are Studio Katia that clear, crystal clear fusion here and there. And this card's finished. It's kind of clean and graphic, something a little different to spice up the floral image. I hope you enjoyed this video. Check out the rest of the blog hop. Congratulations to Hero Arts on 45 years. Thank you so much for joining me today. Have a wonderful day and I will see you next time.